Uh, welcome everyone to the next part. Over here, uh, we'll be starting off with the concepts of uh, creating the test cases and various uh, other uh, permutations and combinations which are required to make UFT work. Right now, the first thing is that um, obviously you have to create new test cases out here and then all that stuff. Right, you can create a test by going to File, New, Create a Test. Okay, you can give the test name and the directory and as soon as you create it, right, in that directory the test would be created like for example in my PC I created the test in F drive temp. So this is the test right now, GUI, GUI test number 9. Okay, right. Now like all the other tools, uh, UFT is also having a feature of record and run which is a very very powerful concept okay you see this button record fine you click on this and you will see a window to record okay now before I go to record and run uh, let me tell you something okay what record and run is what uh, after recording whatever actions you perform okay all those actions would be uh, recorded okay if I for example if I click on the record button fine and if I open the calculator and I click on number 8, 5 and all that stuff okay then I stop the recording from here then code should be generated out here which will record all the actions which you perform right now it is not getting recorded because you know there are various settings and there are various uh, things involved in between okay for example if I start recording again fine and if I open the browser and if I go to the website say bbc.com okay so it will record everything see I am navigating to BBC okay so but it's still not recognizing stuff over here okay I know because I am experienced it's not recognizing right if I repeat this code fine if I run this line this will not run alright and most of you will face this issue okay right see it's executed it's it's it has executed but you know this is not the way it should have recorded it right I'm going to comment this right comment means I'm going to disable these lines okay right now first of all guys I'll talk about recording and running on uh, web as well as window based applications okay right let's talk about web first okay if you are recording on web based applications then uh, UFT supports three browsers i chrome and mozilla okay on i everything works fine okay chrome there is a certain version of chrome which it supports i don't have the version out here because in chrome you cannot downgrade the version that is the problem okay uh, and the, sometimes chrome auto updates itself that's what has happened with my pc right but if you talk about mozilla fine this is mozilla right then right now i have the version 37 installed which is not supported by uft you have to install the version 27 i'm using uft 12 which supports 27 so hold on let me install it and i'll show you right away this is my mozilla 27 right you can also download it okay you can go to the website uh, you, you can type over here download Firefox okay download the older version of Firefox right download Firefox old version right go to ftp.mozilla.org right over here hold on <coughs> go to the version these are the various versions available in the market for Mozilla right download this uh, 27 okay go to 27 and select um, you can you, you, you can select window 32 that is not a problem okay even if you have 64 bit window right and select the language for Mozilla as ENUS fine and you can download it and install it right right now I already have it so I'll install it fine and once you install it okay it will launch fine after it launches please go to 
tools options advanced and update and turn off the automatic updates you don't need to update it otherwise uft will not work with this mozilla all right so don't let mozilla auto update itself all right close mozilla close uft okay close both of them then open uft first all right open uft first don't open mozilla let it open fine now go and open mozilla and you will see that under tools add-ons under extensions out here you will have the uft extension enable it and restart the pc right what will happen is you mozilla will be restarted and now if you go inside your browser and create a new test uh, sorry inside uh, uft and create a new test right now you start recording okay when you record this and suppose again i write over here bbc.com okay now it's recording the right way it should record browser dot page and all that like this okay not like the previous code which we which was detecting windows right if i click on earth over here it will click on earth right and this is how you work with it okay this is how you should this tool should record if i go inside the recording mode again hold on let me open calculator or hold on for web based you are talking about the web based applications right so for the web based applications in case of mozilla or firefox you have to have firefox 27 and you have to have the uft extension enabled i all i is supported nicely i 9 i 10 i 11 right that's supported right and chrome not the current version which i'm having on my machine it's not supported right and moreover for the web based application make sure there are no like unnecessary plugins installed in your uh, browser okay at times okay at times uh, you know there are plugins which get installed inside the browser for example the google toolbar the yahoo messenger plugin the msn plugin and all those plugins which actually stop uft from recording okay uft should be smoothly recording whatever you whatever actions you do fine if it is not recording then either you don't have the right version of uh, say if you're using firefox it's not right version of firefox or the plugin is not enabled or there are a lot of plugins on mozilla or one of the reasons for not recording can be um, you know you actually have to open the browser after opening uft please make sure you do that okay so right now it is recording whatever i do right if i run this script you can run it from this line right if i run this script this will repeat see it's going to gmail and it's clicking on the sign in link so it's, it repeats itself right so make sure that not many plugins in browser okay and browser should be opened after opening uft this is also one of the conditions right now there are window based applications as well right i'll comment these lines now for window based applications for example a calculator okay by default when you install uft and if you go in the record and run mode if you open calculator it will not record look it's not recording for me right it's not recording you need to go to record and uh, re record and run settings out here right and go to windows application tab and make sure all the three options are checked or select the first option record and run test on any open windows based application whatever you want if you have the second option make sure all three are checked all three will not be checked if you are installing uft for the first time all right so apply okay fine now if you go inside the recording mode and if you open calculator see it's recording even the moment of the window if i move it it's recording right 
okay fine now if i run this okay the same actions will be performed it's very fast okay it's executed fine now for window based application the first rule is you have to correct the settings second rule is right suppose i have this calculator i open one more calculator okay fine the moment i run this code this code will not execute it will get confused which calculator i should be using if i close one of the calculators immediately the other one will be used you see that uh, right so you have to make sure only one instance of the application should be running okay now this is not the case in web based applications you can use multiple browsers you can use one browser second browser third browser uft will recognize it but for windows based application make sure that you have just one instance right and still if it's not detecting it's not recording okay then that means an add in is required okay when i taught you to install uft i told you right there are various add ins out here you can select the add in which you want all right for example if you go to this my computer and you go to uninstall a program and you go to hold on hp unified tensional testing a function testing and click on change right click and click on change fine and hold on you can introduce more add-ins inside uft okay you click on change and these are the various add-ins which can be introduced inside uft suppose you have an application which is built on java applet right if you have it made on java application then you need to java applet you need to install the java add-in or a flex application for flex oracle add-in similarly right you have add-ins for sap okay sibel fine so you have got various add-ins which you need to add inside this tool all right so this can another be this can be also one of the reasons why it is not detecting okay so there are various rules which you need to follow and which you need to be careful about right again one more and the most important thing okay in order for uft to work i told you earlier right you need to turn off the uac as well you need to search for user account control settings and make sure this is turned off and you'll have to re um restart your pc after this if this is not done then nothing's going to be happen then then nothing will happen okay you need to make sure that uac is also turned off so this should be the first thing i should have told you i, I told you in the last video as well right uac you have to turn off all right fine so now moving ahead okay um rules for recording windows i have told how to change font size yeah, at times you might feel the need right people come to me with this question you can go to tools options right go to text editor go to fonts and you can change the background color which you want okay and the foreground color which you want all right and the size of the font and all so you can, you can change whatever you want okay so at times people ask this question right now another thing is uft is not recording and running so this is one of the questions which many people ask me the reason for this is as i described in the module you must be having all these things all the settings done right only then uft will record you have to make sure that the browser or the application is opening after opening uft okay now one more thing in your uft by default when you run a result page would be coming up which would look something like this okay this would hold the execution results of executing stuff okay now this result page out here all right it might trouble you because it comes up automatically fine you can disable it you can go to tools options run sessions under general run sessions and this must be checked view results when run session ends in, in for you right uncheck this so that the result window doesn't come up regularly okay fine and yeah so let's move ahead
now 